Hello guys and girls, this is Steve at stevefoffoto.com and I had a few requests to make another video uh, showing off some uh, iPad, or I'm sorry, iPhone 4 cases. I had a video earlier of the Vaha iPad case or bag and the iPhone um, case as well, which is this case right here. And this one is a kind of a fold out flap kind of case. Um, your phone is easily pushed out from the bottom and as you can see this is black and red this is a special edition eighty dollars at VajaCases.com now another case that Vaha makes is uh... i believe these are sixty dollars it's basically the same case without the flap in the front so for fans of the open face cases this is kind of a luxurious leather nice soft supple uh... feels really good um, this is the case that I actually use most of the time uh, when I'm, you know, just pull it out of my pocket. I could see who's texting me, who are my emails. I don't have to flip open the, the flapper there. So that's another Vaha case. I think that's called the Evolution, and this one's called the Evolution Top. Um, another Vaha case that I have. This one has a quilt pattern on the top. It's like a dark brown chocolate color very soft pillow top kind of feel same concept in the back this is a smooth leather not a pebble leather same thing this goes in and it snaps shut very solid very nice feeling cases it just makes your phone feel extra solid I believe this one might be like a hundred dollars if you go to vajacases.com okay very nice case if you like that quilt look they have these in a lot of uh, girl colors like pink and purple and baby blue, white. So um, this could be a great uh, case for your wife, girlfriend, what have you. But it's also in black and the dark brown is a very nice case for a man as well. So let's go on. Those are the three Vaha cases that I use or that I own. I can't say that I use all of them. I want to show a case too from uh, the company Senna. Sina? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But they sell these at the Apple Store and online, and I used it for a while. Um, but actually, it's kind of a bad case. Uh, it's like 70, 60, 70 dollars at Apple, Apple Stores or online. Um, I mean, it feels okay. It's leather. It's not near the quality of leather as the uh, the Vaha cases. It doesn't feel the same. It feels a little cheaper. But um, it doesn't fit as good. The case bubbles up. It feels like cardboard's in here. But one major flaw in this case is there's no camera hole. If you want to use the camera on the iPhone, you have to unflap this, which is a pain, and then you have to pull down the back to expose the camera. And then when, you, when you're done, you have to put this flat back in. Um, and close it. The cool thing about this is it holds credit cards, ID, or debit cards. That's why I bought it originally. And I really didn't even notice that it didn't have a camera hole until I got it home. But you can put a debit card, credit card, close it up, and that's really all you need to take with you. So it's it's nice in that regard, but they drop the ball on the, the camera hole. So I'm not a huge fan of this case. I would not buy this case again, especially at $70 um, for that case. Another cool simple case that I found in Mexico City, Mexico is made by a company called Moshi. It's a just a plastic thin shell that protects the outside, back, and sides. And it looks like the iPhone. So in other words, the back is black. You still see the Apple logo. The sides are silver. You have access to all the ports and buttons and it keeps the small form factor and size of the iPhone very cool case I think that was like thirty thirty five dollars kind of pricey for a piece of plastic and it's very hard to get out there you go not very hard but it's just kind of a pain um, so this is made by Moshi um, I'm not sure what the case is called but it's kind of a cool simplistic style of case here's another case that's very popular um, I picked this up at an airport in, I'm not even sure where I was, but as you can see I'm kind of a case junkie um, when it comes to iPhone cases, just kind of a hobby of mine I guess. I end up usually selling the ones I, I'm not going to keep, so or giving them to friends. But here's one by Casemate, another simple shell plastic 
feels very good, keeps the small form factor. But in the back, it has a slot so you can put a credit card and an ID. We'll hold two cards. So I, if I carry this one, I put my driver's license and my debit card in. So when I go out for dinner or whatever, a drink, I, br I can bring this and I don't have to bring a wallet. It's just all right there with me. And it also feels very good. Um, I think it's called the Casemate ID case. I would highly recommend this one. And I think Apple should carry these in their stores. They'd sell a ton of them. Great little case. Uh, if you like that minimalistic, um, you know, plain kind of low-key look. Um, but again, if you want luxury and quality, the Vaja cases are terrific. Handmade in Argentina. You can customize your case with any colors you want, any color leather inside and out. This is leather on the inside as well. And it takes 20 days to get a custom order from Vaja. They got this little metallic logo on the front, um, and it just feels so solid. It fits perfectly. Perfect fit on the Vaja cases. You have the metal badge down here that has their name, Vaja. Um, so it's a very nice case. Highly recommend it. $80 for that. The half case, Vaja, $60, direct at VajaCases.com. The quilt pattern case is a little more pricey, um, but it's also very luxurious. It's kind of more like a, gives you the impression of a Gucci or Louis Vuitton, classy, it's classy, classy kind of case. This is the stinker of the bunch, Sina, Sena. I do not like this case simply because they forgot to put a place for the camera. And it doesn't feel, it kind of, the, the top bowls out a bit. It kind of just doesn't feel quality for the money, $70. Moshi. $30, $35, very simplistic, very light, very cheap feeling, but it does the trick and it looks cool as well. And the Casemate ID case, if you want form, function, and simplicity, uh, this is it right here. It's like $30, $35. Why do all these cases cost so much money? I don't know. These plastic ones, this, this is worth like $5. But about $35 and you get the ID case. So there you go. There's a bunch of cases um, for the iPhone 4. And honestly, I think I'm going to keep two of them. I'm going to keep the black and red Evolution top and the black half case. And I'm going to end up selling all these other ones on Craigslist or something to uh, just trim down my collection. I also have the bumpers and a couple other little generic cases, but uh, these are the ones I wanted to talk about today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little case demo. And hope to see you again at stevehuffphoto.com. Thank you, YouTubers.